My name is Miss Ballard and I'm going to be your teacher in the nursery class when you join us at Shyland Technology Primary in September. I'm new to the school as well so I'm looking forward to settling into our new classroom together with all our new friends. Our first theme in nursery will be called The Power of Me where we'll be celebrating our bodies, our families, all our superpowers and all our differences as well. We'll be talking about things that make us happy and things that we might find a little bit tricky. So Miss Ballard loves drawing and painting because that makes me very, very happy. But sometimes I find it a little bit tricky not to make a big mess and then I have to tidy up after myself. Do you know who's with me today? It's Baby Bear from one of my favourite stories, Whatever Next. Baby Bear loves going on adventures and that makes him really happy, but he finds it a little bit tricky making it home in time for his bath. You might be wondering why Baby Bear is wearing a space helmet today. Are we sat comfortably? Then I'll read you my favourite book called Whatever Next. Whatever Next by Jill Murphy Can I go to the moon? asked Baby Bear. No, you can't, said Mrs Bear. It's bath time. Anyway, you'd have to find a rocket first. Baby Bear found a rocket in the cupboard under the stairs. He found a space helmet on the draining board in the kitchen and a pair of space boots on the mat by the front door. He packed his teddy and some food for the journey and took off up the chimney. Out into the night. An owl flew past. That's a smart rocket, he said. Where are you off to? The moon, said Baby Bear. Would you like to come too? Yes, please, said the owl. An aeroplane roared out of the clouds. Baby Bear waved and some of the passengers waved back. On and on they flew, up and up above the clouds, past millions of stars, till at last they landed on the moon. There's nobody here, said Baby Bear. There are no trees, said the owl. It's a bit boring, said Baby Bear. Shall we have a picnic? What a good idea, said the owl. We'd better go, said Baby Bear. My bath must be ready by now. Off they went, down and down. The owl got out and flew away. Goodbye, he said. It was so nice to meet you. It rained and the rain dripped through Baby Bear's helmet. Home went Baby Bear back down the chimney and onto the living room carpet with a bump. Mrs Bear came into the room. Look at the state of you, she gasped as she led him away to the bathroom. Why, you look as if you've been up the chimney. As a matter of fact, said Baby Bear, I have been up the chimney. I found a rocket and went to visit the moon. Mrs Bear laughed. You and your stories, she said. Whatever next. I hope you enjoyed hearing all about Baby Bear's adventures. I can't wait for you to tell me all about your adventures. I have a little challenge for you. So I wonder if you could draw a picture of yourself and your family and bring it in in September when you come to school when we start our first topic, The Power of Me. See you soon.